Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Riot X, and today we have our monthly favorites and fails for the month of October. I can't believe it's almost November. Holy crap. We're gonna do our favorites first. I'm drawing a blank. I have just two skincare products and then the rest is makeup, so we'll do those first. The first thing is this Rice Water Bright Cleansing Light Oil, and it's by The Face Shop. This is a Korean beauty product. I love this. I love cleansing balms. I like an oil-based balm to get all my makeup off and then I'll double cleanse with. This is just so light and not greasy. It's almost like a dry oil, but it does such a remarkable job of taking your makeup off and it's super affordable. I will absolutely repurchase this. The next is an oldie but a goodie and I'm sure I've talked about this in the past, but I'm so excited. Backstory. About two months ago, my daughter lost this. It's the Eborian ginseng milk smoothing effect milky face lotion this is like a 40 dollars face lotion i got it from sephora a while ago like six months ago probably and all of a sudden one day i saw her playing with it i was talking to my brother at the moment so i didn't take it from her next thing i know it's gone gone for two months i was so upset this is like my favorite lotion of life and it's you know for a lo face lotion it's kind of pricey it's 40 dollars. and i was like oh i'll just use what i have from whatever else lotion I have and before I order another one. Well, I'm glad I didn't because I found it last night. I've missed you so much. I just had to include just the safe return of my amazing lotion. You were worth the wait. All right, the next thing I have is a makeup brush and this is the Morphe M143 brush. It's like the big fan brush. At first I was like, what the hell do you do with this? And then one of my favorite YouTubers I saw using a similar brush. It was Steph from Coco Chic. <laughs> Duh. It fits right in your contour. It's fantastic. I'm so glad that I have it because I don't remember when I even got this. I wanna I want to say I got it off Hot Look, like when they were having a sale and it might've come with something, but I love this brush. If they will, you will often find these kind of brushes randomly coming in a subscription box because most place, people don't know what to do with them. So they're like, let's get rid of these. They're not huge sellers. Hoard it because it's amazing. All right, the next is by Catrice and this is the Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer. It's just kind of a lotion-y, kind of pink tinged kind of primer. I don't like silicone primers. I just don't like the way they feel. I feel like they're greasy. They make me break out. No, this is a beautiful kind of face lotion-y primer. It really does smooth. It really does make your makeup stay on really nice. It's not gonna make it stay on for 24 hours, but it's a beautiful and crazy affordable primer. You can find this at Ulta. All right, the next again is by Catrice and this is their made to stay highlighter pen. I use this today for my inner corners of my eyes. It's this beautiful metallic icy white highlighting pen. It's beautiful and I mean, it did a great job highlighting. And this is, I mean, perfect for your inner corner. You could probably use it on your cheekbones, but it's a little too small as far as I'm concerned. I think it's just perfect for your inner corner. All right, the next, I die, die over this. A month or two ago, I got the O for Cosmetics collab highlight glow goals from Nikki Tutorials. Well, I've been dying to get glazed donut because it's been sold out all, like everywhere. Well, I finally got a hold of it. <laughs> I already have highlighter on, but it's kind of, it's not too, I'm gonna just brush a little bit of the old highlighter away. So you can see this magic. Okay. Totally kickback, but who gives a crap? <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. She killed killed this. You need this. Everybody needs this. Doesn't matter your skin tone, what kind of makeup you like, you need this. Stop it. Stop it. The rest we're kind of going on with this whole metallic thing. This is the NYX Elements Metal Palette. It's an eyeshadow palette, but oh my god, it's nothing but metallic. Nothing but metallic. Oh my god. Like, <gasps> these are gorgeous. So pigmented, so smooth. I wanted to get the fire one because reds are kind of my thing. But then when I went in the store and I swatched this, I was like, I like this better. I shall get it. And I did. All right, the next is another highlighting palette. This was from my first highlighter haul. If you haven't seen it, I'll list it down below. This is the Revolution Makeup. I'm sorry, the so I think she Soph does nails or whatever. She's like an Instagram YouTuber. She's from over the pond. So I hadn't heard of her until I solved this palette. Oh my god. Again, I'm just gonna swatch a few. Makeup Revolution kills, kills highlighters and they're so friggin' affordable, it's just insane. Like, look at these. Stop 
it. Not you, you're good. And the last favorite I have is another eyeshadow palette. This is from Morphe. This is their 25A palette. I wanna say this is their copper palette. I'll list it on the screen. But oh my God, it's so beautiful. I've been reaching for this every day. I've been doing makeup. I didn't actually use it today because I was doing another video before this. This is just fantastic. Morphe is just amazing all around. I have no complaints with them. Now everybody's favorites fails. All right, so this is from the new Physicians Formula like anniversary collection. This is the eyeshadow quad in Smoky Plums. I saw Rachel Loves rave about the neutral one of these. There's only two of them. There's this one and there's like a brownie neutral one. That one was sold out. So I got this one. Oh, no, like this glitter one is very pigmented, but so friggin like, I don't even know if you can see it's so you see all those chunks, right? Like it's just so chunky. And like the smoother matte shades are like, just like eh. They look kind of pigmented, but with brushes when they go on, it was just very underwhelming. So I just wasn't a fan of this. This one I was so shocked because as you can see, if you've seen any other of my videos, you know I love Makeup Revolution. I think they're incredible. And I think their highlighters like kick other high-end highlighters asses. And they're so friggin' cheap, it's unreal. Well, I got their Ghost Lights highlighter. I guess they came out with, you know, one for the holiday season. It's got like a skull on it. I thought I liked it at first, but again, it's just, it was just really underwhelming. Like usually they're like strobe highlighters and this is just, and I did this thing where I scraped it a little bit and it's still just, I mean, I don't love it. The next was a disappointment too. This is from one of my favorite NYX uh, lip lines. This is the Slip Tease Full Color Lip Oil. I love, I woke up like this and low key, like they're gorgeous. Well, I expected this to be just as gorgeous. This is Fire Dancer. And this is so, I put it on my lips and it was so patchy and just ugh looking. I was again, very shocked and disappointed. I really expected better. All right, the next two are actually from, they're in these pots. They're not NYX and they're not JCAT. I'll tell you why they're in these. I ordered a, I wanted to look into smaller, like independent, indie brands of makeup because I'm really like highlighter crazy lately. So this is from the brand Star Crushed Metals. Minerals, Star Crushed Mineral, Minerals. I found them on Instagram. I ordered four colors, I believe. So this gold color, which I, for the love of God, I can't remember the name. And then this highlighter color. Again, I can't remember the name. Beautiful, beautiful colors. No complaints there. Very nice, very smooth. Same with this gold. I wanna say this is like celestial or something like that. Again, I'll list them. Very pretty colors. These were advertised as pressed powders. Well, when they came in their little pans, all wrapped up real nice, two of the other colors that I ordered were beautifully pressed, nice and firm, held them up like nothing came out. These were like falling out of the pans, totally loose, obviously not pressed. Like they just weren't pressed. It was almost like somebody put them in the pan, used their hand and just pushed them down and that was it. And I had a little bit of a shipping snafu with them. So it almost kind of felt like they were saying F you to me. <laughs> so I had to repress them myself and they're still not correctly pressed. I don't know how to correct, I don't have a, it's not anything to correctly press these. I mean, I did the whole alcohol thing. I mean, they're okay, but they're still like not pressed well. And so I, I'm scared to use them, to be completely honest. That kind of pissed me off. Unfortunately, after the whole shipping thing happened, I looked up them on YouTube to see if anybody had any similar issues. And I found a ton of videos with people with similar issues. Basically, they just take their sweet time and they don't send you your stuff until you like harass them. I didn't go as far as harassing them. I asked them a few times. And then I went to the point of canceling the order. And then two days later, they shipped it. The colors I got were very pretty. The other two I got were very nice and pressed well. This just kind of pissed me off. Like, it just annoyed me. And I mean, again, the whole shipping thing really didn't make it better either. So anyway, that was it. So there's my favorites and fails for the month of October. Stay tuned, I have so many fun videos coming up and I have an amazing giveaway coming up. It's called My Favorite Things. It'll be announced the day after Halloween. I don't know when this video is coming up, so it might've been announced already. And if it is, I will list that in the link below. I will list that link in the box below, I'm sorry. I mean, it's an awesome giveaway. You're not gonna wanna miss it. You win a bunch of stuff. So if you'd like to, be entered in that giveaway and learn more about it, then make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're alerted to when I upload again. 
and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a while and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.